so it means January 1986. This is how old is this? So basically, my age. <laughs> This is Coach Angel back and welcome again to my channel and today we are gonna do another unboxing video Last time I just uploaded Louis Vuitton denim pleaty purse Okay, I did a review unboxing that and a mod shot. So today I have another box here It's so huge There you go <laughs> Yes, um This is um from foreign objects again, okay, I ordered again from them um, again, the other day, if you watch the video, I told you guys I had three items that I ordered from them, dif different weeks, um, and then I just don't have time to unbox it. Now, um, this is the second box. All right, and I know what is this already, and I'm gonna do unboxing with you and see how it looks and if it's good quality or if it's good condition. So we will see. All right. So I or I've already cut off the tape. Not all though, so the box is bigger than me. <laughs> all right, yes. So, before this, guys, we will see what's inside more. Okay, as usual guys they gave me this um the postcard and this is their logo if you want to find them on tiktok or um instagram they're more on there they're not more on on facebook but they have a link on facebook as well um so you can go directly to their website okay this is their logo okay the foreign objects okay that's their logo okay the note now again guys if you want to do a screenshot on that so you can just uh, go directly to their link and see their social medias. There you go. Okay. And. All right. I have a lot of boxes here, guys, and I need to throw. But I guess I need those boxes for Christmas packages, right? Anyway. um. So here are the postcards. And this is, um, if you've been not watching my videos, you know this is authentication certificate of the bag or of the purse to be sure that it's authenticated and it's not fake it's original and um from a prestigious authenticated authentication company all right so we're gonna open this le later <clears throat> so today we have this bag okay yes obviously it's louis vuitton and a monogram but what size Yes, we have a Speedy 40, okay? Speedy 40. Now, this time, they didn't give me a box in this. Of course, this is vintage also, and it's, this is too huge to put a bag, uh, to put a box. Um, there's no uh, Louis Vuitton dust bag this time, but they provide, the, they provide two big dust bags to fit this. I guess because usually, um, with based on my Speedy 30 that I bought, um on louis vuitton place store itself when they saw when, when they fold the speedy 30 they fold like this very flat okay now this online sellers they don't do that when they send stuff to you or when they post it on social media they always make it as puff as like this the reason why they don't wanna damage the leather or crack the leather or um you know sometimes when you fold the bag and depends on the condition of the place where you're gonna store the bag you know, instead, you're going to create cracks or line damage there on the, the leather. But, so it's understandable. Anyway, um, it's no big deal. All right, let's see first how, how, it, how the condition of the bag, okay? So, based on the handle, it's very good condition, no discoloration, like um, usually we see on old vintage classic um, purses. Sometimes there's already discoloration because of handling and hand moist or water or sweat. Okay, again, it's not dirty. The discoloration, it's not because the bag is dirty. It's just because the Vachada leather, naturally, especially if it's untreated, it's naturally absorb water, absorb uh, moist. So automatically, that's the normal reaction of the leather. It's not dirty, okay? 
and uh, the longer you you use you use the 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 bag that has a, a shadow leather then it's gonna this color and it's a sign that it's real it's a sign it's original because it's you know it's the natural all right so there you go no cracks um i've seen a little bit of um like little you know crack like that but it's not it's not a bad crack okay so it's normal okay but it's not it's not hard because sometimes when the leather is damaged like you need to moisture moisturize the leather and stuff like that it's not it's okay all right guys so it's just a normal like thing that you fold you know when you even the handle of the bag that normal bags they're sometimes like looking like it like it crippled or you know just the it's not it's no big deal also guys the hardware are really in good condition no discoloration or like it open and close the zipper very good okay all right there's no cracks or tearing on the side usually if usually um classic or vintage bags like this old bags that been discontinued by Louis Vuitton sometimes the old ones they this is like tearing or discolored the hardware some some discoloration like you need to clean it because there's like the color green already you know um but you, you can still clean it and uh, make it shiny even this one here i can make it more shinier um just apply some chemicals on it just you know just i mean ba basically cleaning hardware cleaning all right but yeah it's no big deal but again guys no need to clean this to be honest this is so clean and very pristine condition um yeah so there's no this cracking or discoloration in this is very very good the monogram is so clean there's no cracking there's no damage just that's just a dirt it's very nice there's no discoloration of fashada leather um there's no watermark which is um the the culprit of fashada leather's discoloration Okay, now let's open what's inside here. Okay, they stuffed it with paper. So see, this is how it should be full. Like that. Okay, so you can, if you have an extra dust bag or box of Louis Vuitton, you can fold it like this and, and keep it, place it like that okay this is how they stack speedy in louis vuitton because i've seen it i went there okay now inside okay now all right this one um that gave me a freebie it's the lock and keys of louis vuitton okay thank you foreign objects that's the nice about them guys like if you want extra a uh, freebies like a key and lock they will give you they will give it for you uh to you for free okay now inside guys there's no discoloration clean clean interior okay the pocket here there's no zipper though but it's clean yes All right, so let's find the date code, okay? All right, so vintage bags usually, early, ba uh, old bags or vintage bags are usually with date codes, okay? Like here. They put it here, okay? Now, the latest purses now in Louis Vuitton are microchipped, okay? You scan it through your phone to know if it's legit or not. Before, it's date code. They stamp it, okay? So... Now here, it's indicated, I don't know if you can see it. Mm, there, a little bit, you can see it. It's around, it says 
881 to be honest yeah sorry 861 yeah it's 861 to be honest i can't hardly um in you know see if it's 88 or 86 okay but it seems it's 861 and here in the other side you see sa okay sa sa or the the letter indicates the country where you uh where was this manufactured or made sa is italy okay so it could be um you know it's france or kind of france and italy like that so this is made of italy all right now 861 now early nine uh, early 1980s the louis vuitton date code consists of three to four numbers only no letter okay so this is three let uh, three let uh, three numbers okay so it means this is made early 1980s this is how old is this okay so basically my age <laughs> all right so anyway guys so the first two number okay indicates the year and the last number or numbers is the month okay so since this is eight six one it means this is made 1986 and 861 now the one indicates the month that's january so if it's two if it's four let a number the last two number let's just say 12 if it's 8612 it means it's manufactured um 1986 and then the 12th it would be december december 1986 but this is one so it means january 1986 this is how old is this okay but for the age my god it's it's very looking so good and brand new looking there's no tearing there's no damage it's it's really in pristine condition amazing hands up to you guys hands up to to foreign object webs uh, company for for having very very good condition second hand luxury bags okay now so let's put the key where's the key there we go all right so usually the key you put it here there there okay so of course the key there the zipper here so if you wanna if you wanna close your purse you can just the two holes bring it in together all right but usually i just use this for the sake of fashion or make it pretty key is the icon and louis vuitton right all right guys now again uh, for those who doesn't know this is monogram okay this this design is monogram if you don't if you if you want those checkered the the checkered the, those are the mirror okay the mirror azure which is the white one and the mirror ebene which is the black one okay or dark brown so yeah anyway so unfortunately speedy 40 in this style vintage style is discontinued however if you go to the website they have of speedy 40 ba uh, baldomir okay which means that has a strap which means that has a white lining here white lining here and has a strap you can wear it on your shoulder um and also based on what i saw there it it has a colored design okay so this is how it looks like all right guys see the comparison okay this is the vintage speedy 40 all right and that's the latest uh speedy 40 now which is the heritage okay speedy baldomir heritage okay compare there's no there's no straps to put and there's no other extra color there now um so to be honest i don't know really if there's a changes on the leather material that they're using but the baldomir they used cowhide okay um yeah i think it's the same they use cowhide too um but as what i've heard that um uh, quality before is better than the latest okay 
so that's why lots are looking for vintage instead of latest plus you get more discount than the brand new one right and it's the same quality or better quality anyway guys yeah so that's the disadvantage of the old vintage they don't it doesn't have a handle okay but i prefer this simple design rather than those extra color there i like the classic style all right anyway guys now another option for um to add strap on this i looked for an, another online seller who sell a uh, louis vuitton strap a uh, legit louis vuitton strap though i will not I'm not uh, I'm not looking for Vachetta leather. I'm not looking for this, you know, type of leather. I'm looking for a monogram strap that has like good for travel, like a straw um tra a straw material, okay? So I got this one here. So I got this strap, guys. Okay? Look at that, same same monogram, and this is a straw straw type. So you're not worried that if you're sweating or you get wet, it get discolored because of the material. Plus, same color as your purse. Okay, so I got this and uh, from Second Love Luxury Shop. Okay, Second Love Luxury. You can also find them on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, they do also online selling and live selling there. They sell bags also. So you know, again, this is from Foreign Object. And this is from Second Love Luxury uh, Shop on TikTok. Also, I got also this. All right. A tag, name tag. Okay. Where you put it here. When you travel, sometimes some people have this and they initial their name here. Okay. But in my case, I don't know if I want to put initial on this. Okay. For me, I just want to have this as a style. So if ever, if I want to resell my purse, you know, I can resell this back. Okay um both of this item i got from second love luxury um website okay again you can also find them on tiktok and she sell this for cheap like i guess this one she sell it for 80 dollars, and this one she sell it for 100 plus i guess so some i saw selling this for 100 plus or 200 plus and some are selling this for way 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 much 200 or 300 plus okay because a lot are looking for name tags to be honest okay so, let, so let's put this one guys all right okay. i'm not sure to be honest i'm not that good to put this one guys so i already put this one so if you if you notice this this color here is lighter than this but to be honest if this is brand new this is this the color of this okay but it's okay now let's put the strap now because there's no strap on the side here to, to attach some people they attach this one on this hole here and no 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 it's a big no no it's gonna rip okay so what we do is for those who don't have a baldemir speedy they attach it here and here okay on the both ends Okay, on the side here. So let's attach this one and try how it looks. Okay, so let's attach guys how it looks. Okay, when you attach, make sure I want to show the monogram. Okay, oops. From that side, you attach it here on the opposite side. There. See? There. Again, for the closer look. On the opposite end, okay? R left and the other side is right, okay? see now it's because guys i don't want to discolor this um handle here i bought this hand strap from amazon okay now we will see how this looks yay 
So this is how it looks, guys. The leather. And it's almost same color as the strap. And interior. And look at the leather. It's very good quality. Actually, before I purchased it in Amazon, I made sure um, I read the, um, the review. And I saw a lot of good reviews in here. All right? So, and the inside here is like a suede, okay? Very good quality leather. Look at that. So, anyway, guys, let's attach. Okay, now it's attached. Now this is kind of loose, okay? Some people might not, don't like it because of the base of the review that I read. They don't like it kind of loose. It runs around. Some like it. Um, some people like it snug or very tight. But for me, I prefer to be honest, this one I can adjust. Or, you know, probably it's not too rubbing the pachetta leather. So this is fine with me and it's no big deal as long as I have something to hold. And soft to to handle actually guys not other handling thing that is kind of like rough this one is so it's like soft okay now other one look at that guys now i like the button at the top because it much look fancy when it's at the top okay but some you don't like it then bring it down that's the nice about when it's loose, okay? You can adjust it up and down. All right. So let's... I'm going to show it to you how it looks like. like. Okay. You can do crossbody on this, or you can just bring it here. Or you can hold it like this. Or some, if you want to look fancy, then of course, on the elbow okay actually i love elbow because makes you look fancier <laughs> there you go so this is not stuffed guys so let's see how it mud uh, how the mud shot looks like when i stuffed it okay. so this is how it looks like when it's stuffed guys mud shot side view On shoulder, side view, cross body, side view. Yeah, that's the mud shot. So let's talk about the measurement. Okay, this is here, the length here. 
is 15.7. Okay, here, 9.8. And here at the bottom, 7.5. Okay? And what nice about this, guys, is you can fit a lot of stuff here. Okay? For me, this is a perfect size, to be honest. Like, if you want to wear it in other occasion, like casual, or if you want to maybe wear, wear it at the gym, all right? Or travel, because the other speedy like 50 or higher up it's too too wide okay so if you would decided to wear that in the gym then that's kind of like so awkward and so big like you're like you really like literally like traveling somewhere but this one is very ideal in in any occasion even in just going like if you have a dance classes um just you know even at work to be honest if you have a lot of stuff needs to bring this can handle it okay and it still doesn't look doesn't make you look awkward all right and also guys now as you all know i'm i'm a fitness trainer so i'm planning to wear this in the gym and i want to see and how i want to feel how it looks like and you know a review if this is effective in the gym if this is practical to use in the gym okay and the disadvantage and advantage using this in the gym all right so i'm gonna make a video on that um this week as well when going back to work so stay tuned on that video okay again like just hit like and subscribe on my youtube channel guys or here in tiktok um or other platform because i post even in instagram and facebook because i post all my um videos anyway in all my platforms okay so if you're curious about that so yeah that's my review in speedy 40 and um it's it's for me it's pretty bad it's vintage it's iconic it's classic and it's never it's never gonna you know the style will never go away okay so yeah it's it's very very good it's sad that they discontinued this kind of speedy 40 they still have the speedy 30 in classic form and also they have a speedy 30 in bandolier which is, has a strap okay i have a speedy 30 for bandolier which is good also because you can carry it as casual or as rugged so both is fine but it's sad that speedy 40 they, they discontinued this itself and replaced it with um the other one that has you know different colors in there which is it's not for me it's not i prefer the classic okay but anyway guys yeah that's my review and um mud shot and unboxing video for the speedy 40 that i ordered from the foreign object again guys this is from foreign object now follow them on tiktok and because they do live selling there on tiktok only they don't do it on instagram all right so it's foreign object i got this strap this strap from uh and this tag luggage tag at second love uh luxury shop as well all right also in tiktok i found them this one is from amazon all right. then now guys let's open their certification of authenticity okay let's see so I always they always send this one guys so yeah there you go no microchip all right and they got this from authentication first so again guys it's really really good that you have um a trustworthy company and they authenticate the item because it's expensive okay even if it's um there's a discounted price already it's still expensive so you have to make sure that it's authenticate uh, authentic item and original okay you don't want to waste money and don't want to throw all right so yeah so anyway guys thanks again for an object for such an amazing product and good quality and very trustworthy company and really guys i highly recommended them okay anyway guys thanks for um watching that's it if this video helps you and if you're if you're interested with more of my videos don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching my unboxing videos guys mod shots and review have a great day